How to deep clean a coffee machine with white vinegar. Nothing puts you off a fresh cup of coffee like a dirty coffee machine. Grime, sediment, and white calcification buildup just aren't the best way to greet the day. Thankfully, a bit of white vinegar, water, and a little time can get that coffee machine sparkling again. We'll show you how to mix the solution, run it through the machine, and rinse everything out to avoid a soapy, vinegary aftertaste. Welcome to Best Choices. This video will tell you how to mixing the vinegar solution, cleaning the coffee maker, and rinsing the coffee maker. Now let's get started. Things you should know. 1. Mix equal parts water and white vinegar, then use it to run half of a brew cycle. 2. Let the brewed vinegar solution sit in the pot for one hour, and then run the other half of the brew cycle. 3. Pour the vinegar solution into the sink, then run three brew cycles using clean water to rinse out the machine. 4. Wipe down the outside of the machine with a damp rag and scrub the carafe with warm water and soap. Method 1. Mixing the vinegar solution. Number 1. Remove the filter and any coffee grounds. Empty the carafe of any remaining coffee grounds. Throw away the used filter if you haven't done so already. Pour out any remaining water from a previous brew. If you'd rather not throw out your coffee grounds after every pot, compost them and use them in your garden later. Coffee grounds are a great source of supplemental nutrients for plants. Number 2. Wash the carafe with soap and rinse the basket under warm water. Use a sponge, warm water, and soap to scrub the carafe clean. Then, make sure there aren't any coffee grounds stuck inside of the basket filter. If there are grounds, wash the basket with soap and then rinse it with water. Place the basket back in the coffee maker when all of the grounds have been removed. Wash your coffee maker after each use with soap and warm water to keep it clean and ready for the next pot of coffee. Number 3. Mix a solution of one part white vinegar and one part water. Combine the white vinegar and water in the carafe, and use a fork or other utensil to whisk them together. Don't use more vinegar than water, too much vinegar can damage the internals of your coffee maker. If your machine's manual has a cautionary note about using vinegar, or you're hesitant to use that much vinegar, dilute the mixture to one part vinegar to three parts water to weaken the mixture. Alternatively, use a mixture of one part water and one part lemon juice. Number 4. Pour the vinegar solution into your coffee maker's reservoir. If the mixture doesn't fill the reservoir all the way, mix more of the solution enough to top it off so that you can run a few cycles through the machine. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 2. Cleaning the coffee maker. Number 1. Brew half a pot of the mixture. Press the brew button once the vinegar solution is in the reservoir. Watch the coffee maker as it brews to avoid it completing the cycle. Turn off the coffee maker halfway through the brew cycle, when the carafe is halfway full. If your coffee machine has it, use the built-in clean cycle instead, which typically has a dedicated button. An automated clean cycle usually starts and stops intermittently, allowing different parts of the machine to soak in the solution. Number 2. Let the coffee maker sit for one hour. This allows time for the vinegar solution to tackle any mineral and mold buildup. If you don't have an hour, let it sit for 30 minutes, or simply run two complete brew cycles, pouring the dirty water in the carafe into the sink between each cycle. Number 3. Finish the brewing cycle. Turn on the brew function again after one hour. Let the rest of the solution brew through the coffee maker. 
You may see brown or white bits in the water. This is normal and means the vinegar solution is doing its job, removing residue from within the machine. Use this same method to clean a curry coffee maker, just brew the vinegar solution directly into a mug 3 to 5 times, discarding the brewed liquid after each cup. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no. Method 3. Rinsing the coffee maker. Number 1. Pour out the vinegar solution and rinse the carafe with warm water. After the coffee maker has finished the complete brewing process, pour the solution down the sink drain. It's okay if there are still remnants of the solution left in the coffee maker. Fill the carafe halfway with warm water and swish it around, then pour the water down the sink to flush out any particulate. Number 2. Fill the coffee machine reservoir with clean water. After you've rinsed it, pour fresh water into the carafe, and then pour it from the carafe into the coffee machine's reservoir. Don't use any more vinegar we're simply flushing the coffee machine out now. Use the maximum amount of water the coffee maker can brew. Number 3. Run the brew cycle three full times. Press the brew button to run a cycle with just water. Allow the entire brew cycle to run. Then, repeat the brew cycle two more times, pouring the brewed water into the sink and refilling the reservoir between each cycle. Let your coffee maker cool down for three to five minutes between the cycles. Repeat one to two more brew cycles with warm water if you can still smell vinegar. Number 4. Wash the outside of the coffee maker with soap and water. Pour out the water after the last brew cycle. Then, remove the carafe and basket from your coffee maker. Clean the entire surface of your coffee maker with a small drop of liquid soap applied to a damp microfiber cloth. Then rinse the cloth and wipe down the machine again to remove any soap residue. Alternatively, use a spray bottle to spritz the outside of the machine with pure white vinegar. Then wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and rinse it with a damp paper towel for a more thorough clean. Also wipe down the hot plate just give it 30 minutes to 1 hour to cool down, first. Use a q-tip to clean her to reach places, like corners or metal detailing. Number 5. Wash the coffee pot and basket to remove any vinegar residue. Hand wash the coffee pot and basket or put them into the dishwasher. To wash by hand, pour some dishwashing soap onto a sponge or rag. Scrub the entirety of the pot and basket. Then, rinse it with warm water. If you're using the dishwasher, select the gentle cycle for the pot and basket. Number 6. Reassemble your coffee maker. Check to make sure there aren't any remnants of mold or mineral buildup left, and scrub them away with a sponge if there are. Then replace the carafe and basket when you're done cleaning. You're ready to brew a fresh cup of coffee. Tips 1. If you are using hard water in your coffee maker, you may want to decalcify more often than every six months. 2. Look for recommendations for decalcification in your coffee maker's manual. 3. Coffee maker manufacturers recommend that you clean coffee makers at least once per month, and decalcify it at least once every six months. 4. Use a pitcher or some other container to measure and pour the water into the coffee maker, rather than the carafe, to avoid calcification inside the carafe. Warnings Not cleaning your coffee maker at least once every six months could cause it to be filled with mold and bacteria. Did this video help you? Let's comment below, yes or no.